chiefs of the Allied Invasion Command at headquarters in England. America's General Eisenhower in supreme command as the United Nations concentrate the most powerfully armed force in history. Warehouses bulge with tons of supplies. Agreements reach at Tehran, now being put into action. At hundreds of military depots, thousands of trucks, command cars, jeeps, all kinds of mechanized equipment are assembled for the day of invasion. With General Montgomery and Air Marshal Tedder, deputy commander, Eisenhower sees new equipment in action. Today, great fleets of troop carriers soar over Britain, releasing their hordes of parachutists. Spectacular rehearsal of things to come. Montgomery, victor over Rommel. Tedder, master of air tactics. Eisenhower, liberator of North Africa. The power and might of the United Nations trained and ready to strike a decisive blow from the West. <laughs> 